Hey, what's going on guys? Jake the Happy Snake here, and welcome to part 119 of Pokemon Emerald. Last time I battled Glacia and Drake, this time I am going to be battling Wallace. So, I am going to start off with Voltster like I always do when I battle this guy. And here we go. Yo, Wallace, what's up, man? And here we go. And seriously, guys, I know I mention this every single time I battle this guy, but I will never, ever get sick of this music. Like, this music is so freaking epic. Like, I just love it. It's so good. Anyways, I'm going to start off with his Whale Lord, like he always does. And this is honestly just a cakewalk now compared to when I first battled him 10 years ago. This is just, it's just so easy now for me. Bye bye, Whale Lord. Gyarados is next. He only sends out his Gyarados because his Gyarados knows Earthquake. So it might seem kind of stupid, like why is he sending out his Water and Flying type Pokemon against an Electric type? Well, it's because it, it's because he knows Earthquake. So yeah. Whiskash. Okay, this seems like the job for Terragon. Raise Relief. Phylotic. You know, let's stay in. This might seem kind of silly, but... You know, I do I do use Voltstar a lot, so... Let's go with the Solar Beam. You're gonna use... Toxic. Okay, I thought you were going to use Blizzard. And that should knock him out. Or not. Are you serious? My goodness. Okay, so let's... Um, hmm. I'm going to... I'm actually gonna go with Razor Leaf because I forgot that he had a Citrus Fairy. What I was gonna say is I was I don't think he's gonna heal. Yeah. What I was gonna say is I was gonna, I was actually gonna use a full restorer, but and then and then and then he started to use his berry and then I realized, you know what actually? I can probably just knock this guy out with a razor leaf. Because I I d I I didn't think he was gonna heal. Okay, next up is Tentacruel. I always use Mudstorm for this for this guy because I don't know, I don't really use Mudstorm that much just because of how high of a level he is. But I always use him for this Tentacruel. And I know I could use Voltzer for, uh, for this Tentacruel, but like I said, I never use Vol uh, I never use Mudstorm anymore, so. Lodicolo, okay. There's only one Pokemon for the job for this one. Well, I mean, Emily might be able to do the trick, but it's always smart to use Nightmare because Nightmare has Aerial Ace. And there you have it. So yeah, and this part I'm gonna super speed because we've seen this multiple times and I don't really feel like I need to show this again. So we're just gonna speed, speed up all of this. Yeah, well, you know what? I, I I know I've said this before, but I think it's really cool that once you've completed the national decks, how it just shows every Pokemon. It's, 
it's you know it's pretty cool. And there we go. So now that I've done that, I want to see this. Is there anybody I can rematch? I know I can rematch a bunch of trainers, but is there any gym leaders? No. Okay. Um. Hmm. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do next time. Let me see. Um. Why don't we go back to the battle frontier? I think it seems like a good idea. So, yeah, I will... Yeah, I'll take on the battle tower again, because I didn't really have a whole lot of success there before. So, I think that's what I'll do next... Wait, this isn't the battle tower, is it? This is the battle dome. Yeah, where is the battle tower? Let me try to figure this out. Um, that's the factory. I always have trouble finding this place. I don't know why. Is this it? I think this is it. Yes. Okay, here we are. So yeah, guys, next time I'm going to be taking on the Battle Tower once again. So thanks, guys, very much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all next time. Peace!